Hey, Warriors, Prayer Warriors, we're so nice to see you again, so nice to be with you. We're going to uh, pray and get into the things of God in a few moments and uh, uh, be watchmen and gatekeepers and intercede. You know, uh, Friday night is truly uh, intercession. It's not just petitioning uh, where we ask for our personal needs or I, there's no personal needs necessarily in this arena where I'm, I'm going to say, guys, I want you to pray for me that God blesses me, blesses me, blesses me. There's none of that. It's true standing in the gap for whatever God gives us. It's a, I, I would call it a, um, a calling. I would call it a, a higher level of praying. I would call it more depth in praying. <clears throat> where uh, probably great, wonderful Christians are not attracted to this kind, this kind of praying. Uh, this is, is like uh, the symbolisms that the Bible uses. It's, it's a labor. It's a birthing uh, that takes place like a natural woman does. There's energy, just the same way you would give birth to a baby. There's energy and exertion uh, that is um, extrapolated um, through this kind of prayer. It, it's not a lot of, God, will you do for me? God, will you bless me? God, will you give me? Um, it's being sensitive to the agenda of God that God wants us to pray, and so it's more of an unselfish um, kind of praying. Um, so we appreciate that. We appreciate the other kinds of prayers, but this is what this one really is. Again, that's why we always use the analogy of uh, a watchman that literally climbs up, looks over the sedal from the sedal, and looks over the countryside and sees uh, approaching enemies to warn the citizens uh, of that kingdom. But he also goes up there to declare the king is coming victoriously after a triumph or a battle. That's what the intercessor uh, senses and will follow the, the leading and the, and the direction uh, of the Lord in. So there, if you got, if got a, a paper and a pen or you're just going to take down notes, um, some of these are really um, kind of templates for prayer. Um, where you could just keep a prayer journal. Like on Saturday, whenever I uh, host Saturday prayer, you'll see me bring a book up uh, of a, a, a lesson on prayer um, because I, I want to keep those together. Uh, and maybe God will ask me to uh, reteach one or if I need to put my finger on a prayer or a thought, I could go handily to something and put my hands on. That's where like a, a prayer journal would come in for your life or a, a, a book on prayer or prayer truths that you can put your hands on or, but especially pass on to another generation of people that want to learn how to pray. I mean, they could talk to you for an hour, but then you're not going to remember things over 30 years that you've learned. So you've got to... Uh, Capsulate it somehow and uh, file it in, in somehow and, and draw upon it. So, as we pray for, like we've done in the past, we're going to name all the uh, the spirits, the demonic spirit realm, their classification. So you you might have that. Uh, the Lord's Prayer, we may break that down. All the uh, pillars in that function in the kingdom that the enemy wants to rule over. I'm saying all that to say uh, there are going to be six things, and I'll give them to you right away. We are going to pray against, that's a category. We are going to pray for, that's a category. We're going to pray in, that's a category. We're going to pray with, that's a category. We're going to pray to, that's a category. We're going to pray uh, into, that's a category, and we're going to pray out. That's a category. I think I gave seven. There's, I thought there were six, but there's seven. So if you missed it, 
just uh, go back when we get into that. And uh, I came up with some words, but then you, like for an example, it's pray with, I may say 12 things you may want, you may add to that as today or as the um, time, uh, time in the future, as you do more and more, we say, oh, I want to add that, I want to add that. Now you've got a prayer journal or a prayer, whatever you're going to use. So Father, we come into your presence with thanksgiving and we come into your courts with praise and we worship you with all our hearts and we can't thank you enough if we had 10,000 tongues we couldn't worship you enough and we couldn't praise you enough we thank you for who you are we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your blessings we thank you father for how real you are to us we thank you that you never leave us and you never forsake us oh god you are real, you are right on time, you rule and you reign. You are majesty, you are royalty. Father, we thank you that you are the Ancient of Days, the Altogether Lovely, the Apostle of our Confession, the Arm of the Lord, as rivers and dry places. And we thank you today. Father, before we get into these, I thank you, Holy Spirit. As I came back from chaplain duty, God, we had another teenager last night that uh, jumped off the freeway, uh, jump off the bridge onto the freeway, God. This is the second uh, teenager uh, from Los Osos, God, in the last few weeks, God. And so we ask that you would intervene, God, uh, in these teenage suicides, uh, not just the ones in our city, but maybe around the world, oh God. And whatever this attraction is that they have, wherever they're being influenced, God, Whatever this hurt, this loneliness, this absence, whatever this spirit is, we just take authority over this spirit, oh God, that is causing teenage suicides, God. And so I just pray, Lord, that that's, we would pray that that spirit is broken in the name of Jesus, God. Whether it's uh, originating in Los Osos or wherever it might be, we rebuke it, we bind it, we negate its power, we destroy its influence in the name of Jesus, and we command it in the name of Jesus to loose these teenagers and have no life in it. And Father, I thank you for setting these teenagers free, and we knock down that throne, that principality, that power that has set up its kingdom in these high schools to influence suicide. We rebuke it now in Jesus' name. God, we now pray against, that's our category, God. We just pray against every principality, every power, every ruler of darkness of this world, every spiritual wicked high places, every uh, strong man, every stronghold, oh God, we pray against every form of witchcraft, God. We pray against the tactics of the enemy, the strategies of the enemy, the devices of the enemy, the mindset of the enemy, the wiles of the enemies, the weapons of the enemy. We pray against every form of destruction. We pray against every form of poverty. We pray against every form of ignorance, we pray against every form, God, of poverty. We pray against, God, in the name of Jesus, everything that is trying to tear down. Every, we pray against everything that is trying to bring destruction and heartache. We pray against, we ask the Lord, that we dismantle every weapon of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We pray against depression. We pray against uh, heaviness. We pray against grief. We pray against disappointment, God, all the weapons of the enemy we pray against in the name of Jesus, God. We pray against the spirits that are trying to steal from us, O oh God, kill and destroy. We pray against anything that is seeking to be a thief against our constitution, God, against our liberty, and against our freedom, God, and against our capitalism in our nation, O oh God. We pray against every form of worldliness and carnality and the flesh and sin. We pray against these strong men. We pray against these weapons, these stronghold. We pray against the walls of opposition 
the hindrances of opposition that would try to hinder the gospel from being preached, O oh God. We pray against every weapon of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for now. We pray for the orphans. We pray for the widows. We pray for the hurting, the helpless, the hopeless. We pray, we pray for healing. We pray for salvation, God. We pray that people would come to the knowledge of the truth and be saved, O oh God. We pray for the fivefold ministry, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers. We pray, Lord, for missionarians across this world. We pray for every um, company, every agency, God, every ministry, every organization, God, that is truly helping people, God, making a difference, God, equipping people, God. We pray for the gospel to be preached in the four corners of this world, O oh God, in every nation, country, county, providence, city, and neighborhood, God, every home, every street corner, God, every apartment, every townhome, every condo, God, every mobile home, God, every camper, God, where people dwell. We pray for the gospel, God, to go where it's never gone before, oh God, into regions, into, into nations, God, uh, that have never heard the gospel. May it go, God. May it go forth to every tribe, to every tongue, to every culture. Father, may it go forth in the, into every arena, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray in the name of Jesus, God. We pray for your wisdom in our life. We pray for your guidance in our life. We pray for your direction in our lives, oh God. We pray for your counsel in our lives, God. We pray for clarity. We pray for focus in our lives, God. We pray for our health in the name of Jesus, God. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray against every form of atheistic spirit, a secular spirit, materialistic spirit, demonic spirit, O oh God. We pray for our purity, our holiness, our righteousness. We pray that we walk and live in wisdom, God, in the strength of God, in the mercy of God, in the grace of God. We pray, God. We pray against naivety, O oh God, waywardism -ism now, hardened hearts, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray in love. We pray in generosity. We pray in sincerity. We pray in honesty, God. We pray in faith. We pray in boldness, God. We pray the, in the authority that's in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, the authority that's found in <coughs> the word of God. We pray, God. We pray with accuracy. We pray with simplicity. We pray with diligence. We pray with discipline. We pray with devotion, O oh God. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray with persistence, God. We pray with earnestness, God. We pray with watchfulness, God. We pray in, into our lives, O oh God, what we need to hold on to, O oh God. We pray with fervency, O oh God. We pray with timeliness, God. We pray with watchfulness, O oh God. We pray with delight, God. We pray with passionate desire, God. <coughs> we pray to acknowledge you, God. We pray to inquire of you, God. We pray to require of you. We pray with dependency upon you, God. We pray with submission, to you, O oh God. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray to our King. We pray to our God. We pray to our Father. We pray to our Lord. We pray to our Savior. We pray to our Conqueror. We pray to our, royal, our, our royalty, which is you, our majesty, which is you, O oh God. We pray to you as our provider. We pray for, to you, God, as our healer. 
We pray to you, God, as the source of our lives, God, the contentment of our lives, the satisfaction of our lives, God. We pray out of us all forms of flesh, arrogance, boastfulness, pride. We pray out of us, God, every form of conceitedness, God, confusion, beguilement, where we pray out of us anything that we are being led astray by, God. Any bad influence in our lives we pray out of in the name of Jesus. We pray that we are not duped or doped in confusion, God. That we are not dumb and we are not ignorant, God. We pray out of us every form of unforgiveness, bitterness, grudges, and offenses within us, O God. We pray out of us every form of anger and strife and division and backbiting and gossiping and sowing discord, God. We pray out of us every form of judgment, criticism, murmuring, and complaining out of us, O God. We pray out of us, God, every form of selfishness that's within us, cynicalism that's within us. We pray out of us every form of sorrow and grief and sadness we pray out of us every form of anxiety and worry and fear and shame and guilt. We pray every one of these negative emotions out of us. Every form, God, of insecurity, God, esteem issues. We pray out of us every past pain, every past hurt, every past injustice, everything that was ever done to us, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray into us, O oh God, vision, provision. Pray into us dreams and plans and priorities, God. We pray into us relationships, opportunities. We pray into us the plans of God, the places of God, the people of God into our lives. We pray into us destiny, fulfillment, faithfulness, fruitfulness, God. We pray into us finishing, God. We pray into us, God, the God kinds of pleasure. We pray into us mission. We pray into us ministry. We pray into us mandate. We pray into us assignments. We pray into us messages. We pray into us obedience, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray all these things into us that we would be uh, like a scalpel in your hand. We would be like a sword in your hand. We would be like a spear in your hand. We would be like a weapon in your hand, O oh God, and that we would know what to pray against and what to pray for, O oh God, and what to pray in, God, and what to pray with, O oh God, and what to pray to, O oh God, and what to pray out, O oh God, and what to pray into, God. All of these things in the name of Jesus, God. All of these things in the name of Jesus, God. May our prayer life be expanded. May our prayer life be stretched, God. May our prayer life have depth. May our prayer life have meaning. May our prayer life have breadth and width and length to it. May we be stretched in the realm of prayer, God. Holy Spirit, would you, take care, would you take over our prayer agendas? Every time we pray, Holy Spirit, would you be in control? Would you influence and would you dominate our prayer life? Father, we thank you, Lord, that we're not just praying elementary prayers, selfish prayers, babyish prayers. Teach us how to pray. Teach us the, the atmosphere of prayer, the environment of prayer, Teach us, God, the agenda we are to pray. God, teach us, God, uh, that there are moments where we are to reflect, we are to meditate, we are to keep quiet. Then there are moments when we should speak and we should talk, God. There are platforms of different types of player, prayers, God, where we pray publicly and we pray privately, God. We pray over a mic, oh God. We pray in a crowd. May we know what to pray, because sometimes our prayers are just out of order, God. Not all prayers should be prayed. If we don't know the direction, the leading, and the guiding 
uh, of what the agenda is, what the Spirit of God is saying, we could we could kind of grieve the Holy Spirit, God. And we as Christians aren't even aware that we have offended or we have upset the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was taking us down a road of a certain subject and agenda to pray, then we decided to pray something totally different that we had written down or something that we had put on our iPhone that we thought was really good to pray about. And and it, it just kind of, God breaks the flow of what the Spirit of God is using and saying, oh God. So give us wisdom, God, in these realms of prayer to know what prayer of thanksgiving looks like, define it, to know what pr- the prayer of of uh, intercession looks like it, to define it, to look what the prayer of consecration looks like and to define it, to look what the prayer of dedication looks like and to define it, to look what the prayer of warfare looks like and to define it, to look what pra- the prayer of petition looks like and to define it, God, there are all types of prayers, just like there are all types of weapons, God. When we are engaged in a warfare, God, should I use a knife? Should I use a gun? Should I use an arrow? Should I use a spear? Should I use a machete? What should I use? It all is what when you're going into a battle with a giant, a little knife is not going to do any good. And that could be de- depicted of a prayer. And so we need to, like an arsenal, know what weapon or tool the Spirit of God would lead us to pick up in the realm of prayer. God, thank you for that. Thank you for that understanding. Thank you for that insight. Thank you for that knowledge. Thank you for that revelation. Thank you for that wisdom that we could grow in that realm and grow in the realm of prayer. Yes, we could grow in vocabulary, but then we need to grow in styles of prayer, subjects of prayer, systems of prayer. We thank you for that, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, so that no matter where we are in the world, no matter what need or subjects comes before us, we will know how to enter into praying effective prayers, God. Prayers of precision, God. Prayers of definition, God. Powerful, powerful prayers, God. Resourceful prayers, God. We don't know how to do that, God. Some of it, some of it is trained and learned. And some of it, God, takes place by the Holy Spirit. And it is, it is deposited, is transferable. It is caught by the Holy Spirit. So teach us, God. Teach us these things, O God. Teach us these things, O God, that we might be useful to Thee, that we might be purposeful to Thee, God, that we would might be ready for Thee, O God. So we thank You in the name of Jesus. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise, oh God. Take us to school in the, in the realm of prayer. We are your pupil, we are your student in the realm of prayer. You are the teacher in the realm of prayer. So we pray, oh God, that we have more endurance in prayer, that we could go longer periods of time a prayer without getting weary, tired, distracted in prayer. May we have special moments of prayer that are scheduled and that are unscheduled. 
in, in the realms of prayer. Help us to be quick, God, to always offer prayer, God. And then our prayers have the gifts of the Holy Spirit with them, God. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, tongues, interpretation of tongues, the gift of faith, the working of miracles, the gift of healing and discernment that can all flow in the realm of prayer. So we pray, Lord, that that would begin to be activated in our lives, oh God. Father, we thank you today. We pray for, again, all the works, all the missionarians, all the, uh, all the um, areas, God, that you are using to propagate the gospel, God, to intervene, oh God. We pray, Father. We pray for your will to be done, your ways to be manifest, the word of God into our lives, oh God. We thank you, God. We pray with the blood of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray with the word of God. We pray with the help of angelic beings that are dispatched when we pray, Lord. We thank you that we pray from a place of victory. We pray from a place of being a conqueror. We thank you today. We thank you today, God, that there is no purposeful sin in our lives, O oh God. Father, we pray that we are not double-minded, God, double-tongued, O oh God. We thank you that we are not snared by the words of our mouth. We're not taken captive by the words of our mouths, O oh God. We pray that we show love and joy and peace and gentleness and kindness not just simply to those that deserve it, but to the undeserving, oh God. We pray. We pray, Lord, that you metamorphosize us, you change us, oh God. You don't let us get away with nothing, oh God. That we can be attractive of vessels, God, clean vessels, God. Great witnesses for you, oh God. Continue to break off things from our lives. Continue, God to get the chafe off of us, O oh God. We pray, O oh Lord, that we have a fresh, new, exciting, vibrant, zealous, passionate prayer life, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. We give you honor and we give you glory today, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you bring praying, interset, interceding partners into our lives, God. Amazing praying warrior relationships into our lives. Amazing prayer com camaraderie, co-laborers, teams, friends into our lives, oh God to share a kindred spirit in the realm of prayer, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, that we are not a, a lonesome island of prayer, that we have prayer chains, that we have prayer groups, that we're in prayer partnership, O oh God, uh, that we are discipling somebody in prayer, that we are involved in participating uh, where people are praying, O oh God. Father, there's too many, too many just simply isolated prayers, oh God. May our posture be right when it comes to praying, God. Whether that is a physical posture, a mental and emotional, God, a spiritual posture, God. May our posture be right when it comes to praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're all busy, God. We all got somewhere to go, something to do, God. But I thank you that we will not use that as an excuse not to pray, oh God. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Father. Father, look into our hearts, oh God, and 
judge our hearts because the heart is deceitful and full of wickedness, O God. And if there's any wrong motive within us, O God, would you check that, O God? Would you rebuke that, God? Would you chasten that, God? Would you correct that, O God? We thank you that we are meek, teachable, learnable, correctable, God. We pray. We pray, God, for stoutness in our lives. We pray for steadfastness in our lives. We pray for a non-quitting, not giving up spirit in us, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that we will finish what you ask us to finish. And we will fulfill what you've asked us to fulfill, O oh God. And we will be faithful, God, as you have asked us to be faithful, God. We pray, Father. We pray for everybody in our community. We pray for everybody that we have relationships with. We pray for every one of our family and our friends, O oh God, that would be saved, O oh God. We pray for any of them that are wayward. We pray for any of them that are prodigal, God. We pray for, 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 for them that don't know how to hear you, God. We pray, Lord, that they are not deceived in any form or any fashion, O oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for how real you are to us, O oh God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, one more time, we thank you, Lord, that we pray against we pray against the spirit of darkness who would like to run rampant upon this planet. We pray against the work of Satan that would try to rule and reign over government, politics, medicine, entertainment, college campuses, that would try to reign God in homes and families, in medicine, O oh God. Everything that influences our world, O oh God, entertainment, God, sports, athlete, ath athletics, God. We pray against the weapons, the idols that the enemy is using in the name of Jesus. We pray for more of you, just simply more of you in our lives, O oh God. We pray in, we pray in your leading, your guiding. We pray in to your presence, O oh God, being with us, O oh God. We pray, Father, with We pray with dependency, O oh God, complete trust. We pray with, we pray with trusting you, God, believing you, God. We pray with belief. We pray to, we pray to not be weak, but to be strong. We pray not to be fragile, God, but to be enduring, God. We pray to not be foolish, but to be wise, O oh God. God, we pray out of our heart. We pray out of our need. We pray out of our desperation. We pray out. God, I thank you, Lord, that we pray into we pray into a deep, deep well that is filled. We pray into the callings of God in our lives. We pray, Father, into 
a fam family legacy, God, a family inheritance, oh God. Father, we pray. We pray, Lord, that we would have the tongue of the wise. We would be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. We pray that we are not giving in to the flesh, nor carnality, nor selfishness, God. We pray, Lord, that we would see the greatest revival, the greatest outpouring, the greatest spiritual awakening. We pray that your prosperity and your wealth and your riches would visit Patriot God so that we can buy, so that we can purchase, so that we can invest, so that we can bless God. I pray for new money, new found money, new witty inventions, new witty ideas, God. I pray that you place your people, God. I pray that every person that works a job, God, would be strategically placed on that job to influence their businesses and their companies toward you, oh God. Would you protect their job? Would you protect their gifts? Would you watch over and protect the businesses that they are in, oh God? Help us to realize that we don't go to work just to make a living, to pull a paycheck, to do a job. That there is something far greater that God would have us to be and to become and to do and to take responsibility for. Help every person that we are praying for today to, to be able to answer, why do you work where you work? What are you there to do and God that is seen through your eyes through your perspective God that's seen through your purpose God we pray that into our lives God that we would maximize the season the moments of our careers we ask you God to make that meaningful, God. To bless the works of our hands, O oh God. Promotion comes from you, O oh God. Honor comes from you, O oh God. Blessings come from you, O oh God. So may that be seen on our jobs, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, today. We thank you, Lord, today. We worship you today. We glorify you today, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for a new empowerment in our lives, a new grace in our lives, a new strength in our lives, a new vibrancy, a new vigor in our lives, oh God. Lord, let, let your resurrection power live in all aspects of our lives. Stir up, revive what has gone dormant and passive, God. May every day we wake up with great purpose and go to bed with great fulfillment, God. May every day we take advantage of every moment that you have given us, O oh God. May we maximize our platforms May we maximize our positions. May we maximize our titles. May we maximize our giftings, our abilities. God, show every person what they are on this planet to do. And may we fulfill that and may it not be aborted. In the name of Jesus, God. Speak to our hearts that we might know, Lord. Speak to our hearts, O oh God, that we might know, O oh God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Lord.
not by power, not by might, but by your spirit, O oh God. May we not lean on our own understanding. May we acknowledge you in all our ways. May we not be wise in our own eyes. Thank you, Lord. God, help us to be fruitful all the days of our lives. Help us to live long, God, not just to enjoy our retirement, God. Time is short. There's work to be done, God. And what we must be about our Father business. Let us recognize that long life is to fulfill something. Long life is to finish something. Long life is to fulfill something. Long life is to be fruitful in something. May those four F's rise up in us, O oh God. May every day, God, we be faithful. May every day we be fruitful. May every day we finish. And may every day we fulfill. May the end of our lives, O oh God, look back and see faithfulness. May we look back on our lives and see fruitfulness. May we look back on our lives and see what we finished. May we look back on our lives and see what we fulfilled. May we wake up every day and say, I've got to be faithful, I've got to be fruitful, I've got to finish, I've got to fulfill, oh God. Let these F's rise up within us, oh God, today. We repent of not being faithful and not being fruitful and not finishing and not fulfilling in the kingdom of God. We've been so absorbed with this world, God, the pleasures of this world, the leisures of this world, oh God, the things of this world, the stuff of this world, oh God. Your agenda of faithfulness, fruitfulness, finishing and fulfillment is not a, our agenda, oh God. But we pray, Lord, that there's a shift taking place, oh God. But we repent and we apologize and we say we're sorry, oh God. That as we look back on whatever life you've given us, God, we can look back on natural accomplishments, natural achievements, natural pleasures, natural memories, but they don't match spiritual or kingdom or Christianity or faith. The scale is tilted, but we ask that you, the scale be <coughs> changed. So now, Father, into our minds and into our hearts, faithfulness, fruitfulness, finishing and fulfilling. May that be our motto. May that be our motive. May that be our mission, our message, our ministry, our mandate. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God love you. It's been another joyous time. I hope to see you next week. God love you. God bless you.